an organization that's making a big difference here in our county and our state is the American Red Cross. Now, thankfully, we didn't have too much damage from Isaac right here in Monroe County, but other states were affected by the hurricane. The American Red Cross has been sending volunteers from all over the country to help all of those families and individuals in need. Now, along with doing this, they're also staying very active with all the programs that they offer right here in our community. JB, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, it's wonderful having you here. And let's talk a little bit about Isaac. I, like I mentioned, you're sending volunteers from all over the country to help the states sure. that were really impacted. Yes, exactly. And we have about a dozen people from the Miami, Broward, and Monroe County area who are going to Louisiana and Mississippi or are already there helping our neighbors. Okay. And what about here in Monroe County? Did you receive phone calls? We do. Typically during a tropical storm, we have people who live on boats, for instance, or in mobile homes who are affected by the storm. So in that case, we provide the same kind of service as if it were a hurricane, and that is food and clothing and, and a place to stay where they'll be safe. Okay, and now let's talk about some of the programs that you're offering right now, JB. I don't think that people are aware of everything you do because you guys you do so much. Right. We're here in the community every day throughout the county and in fact have been since 1917. Mm -hmm. So what we do in between storms, <laughs> we stay busy with um, all kinds of training. So for instance, safety and health training for CPR and first aid. Lots of people need that for their job. People who work with children or people who work with the elderly, for instance, need to be able to know how to save someone's life. Mm -hmm. And swimming classes. This is something else that you do that I right. think is interesting. Exactly. I and many other people first had their first exposure to the Red Cross during swimming programs. So we do that at the pools at the college and also in Isla Mirada at Founders Park and at Jacobs Aquatic Center in Key Largo. So little children all the way up to adults can learn how to swim through the Red Cross. Okay, wonderful. And now what about any upcoming events that you have going on right now, JB? Right. Most of what we do is through volunteers, and so all year long we're recruiting volunteers, and we also have a volunteer committee that helps us to raise funds. All of the support that the Red Cross receives is from individual and corporate donations. It's not a government agency. And so we do a big fundraiser in Key West every year that's our Florence Spotswood Humanitarian of the Year Gala, and it'll be on February 2nd. And at the gala, we honor and recognize Florence Spotswood, who was one of the original founders in 1917 here in Key West. And so we honor her and other people who have been humanitarians in this community with a big gala event in February. Okay, and so you're already getting ready for that. Even yes, though we are. February is a ways away. It you guys are getting like started. It seems like a long way <laughs> away, but we get started mm -hmm. very early because we want to make sure everybody has a great time when they come to the party. Okay. Now, if anybody's interested in volunteering for the Red Cross, do you take volunteers regularly, or how does that work? We do, and we ask our volunteers to come forward soon, mm -hmm. early, and to get some training. So anybody can call today, 296-4033 or go online to our website and become a volunteer that way. And so, for instance, if you wanted to be a disaster relief volunteer and you wanted to, say, drive one of those emergency response vehicles, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> if you could drive through the neighborhood and deliver meals, you know, right. make sure that people have a hot meal. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of training that we do. So we mm -hmm. teach people not just how to drive the vehicle, but why they would do that and how to keep hot food hot and cold food cold and mm -hmm. all of the safety again we're always thinking about safety mm -hmm. so we provide that kind of training and then of course again we provide CPR and first aid training for our volunteers because there again people who are representing the Red Cross certainly need to be able to save lives. Wonderful well thank you for sharing all this information and our viewers can see the website and the number on the bottom of the Green. Great. That's going to do it for me today, everyone. I thank you for tuning in this morning. I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.